7 on UHF, do you receive, over? Roger, Friendship 7, loud and clear, over. Roger, this is Friendship 7, loud and clear with you also. Uh, are we still go from Control Center, over? Roger, we're still go. Hi, Roger, Friendship 7, all systems are go in the capsule. Friendship 7, Grimus, if uh, you have a chance, could you give us a Today question? is February 20th, 1962. And today, if all goes well, the men here will launch an American astronaut into orbit around the world in a spacecraft which he has named Friendship 7. And the pilot has waited three years for this day. Three long, arduous years of study, of training, of waiting. And now he's ready. His name is John Glenn. Astronaut John Glenn of New Concord, Ohio. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Married, father of two teenage children. Glenn has been a pilot over half of his 40 years, has flown in two wars, and is a veteran test pilot who five years earlier established a transcontinental flight record as the first man to average supersonic speeds across America. He volunteered for space flight, is one of seven astronauts selected. Now, this very instant, the countdown for flight continues around the world, on three continents, on islands, in ships and planes. Eastward again, deeper into the day that will soon awaken over the Americas. Eastward to the Gulf of California and to the Mercury Station at Guaymas, Mexico. Real good, just waiting for liftoff. M and OTM, status green, proceeding with pre-pass calibrations. North of Mexico, in the pre-dawn along the west coast of the United States, the mountaintop station at Point Arguello, California, waits out the long countdown, ready to track John Glenn. Southeast now, to the farmlands of Texas, where the station at Corpus Christi continues its preparations for flight. Primus Cal in Texas, please. Hey, permanent. Roger. All systems, would you please commence pre-flight calibrations at this time, since the countdown is progressing normally. Advise me when you... Around the world, all is ready. The men, the stations, the space vehicle. Oh, okay, uh, John. Go, buddy. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Ted. Your attention, please. On my mark, we will pick up the count at T minus. Six minutes and 30 seconds in counting.
Good. when the final Atlas engine will shut down. Seco! Lots of grades fired, okay. Lots of grades fired, okay. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. To John Glenn, now belongs an awesome panorama. The world curving beneath him, just as it was filmed from an earlier Mercury capsule. And I could see the booster during turnaround just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Cloud pattern way back across toward the Cape. Beautiful sight. 